the <laughs> fact that people were complaining at Amazon about not making a living wage and yeah. Bezos is buying million dollar yachts. So I replied back and I said, if you take his net worth, which is like 450 billion, and you divided his net worth by $50,000, which is a really good living wage for mm -hmm. people to be working, that's 3.6 million people making $50,000 if you divide his net worth by $50,000. That 50,000 could go to 3.6 million people. So, yeah, he can afford to pay them a living wage. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. What a great guy. Gotta love him. <laughs>back to our stupid reactions it's corbin and i think this was on amazon prime was it what what we're about to oh do? yeah ah we suck <laughs> <laughs> hey we're not sponsored i don't have to say anything yeah <laughs> sorry jeff Bezos is killing me now yeah He's everywhere. I'm Cor Rick. You know. Yeah, you know who we are. Yeah, we the content's okay. juicy. Juicy. Stuff. Follow us Instagram. Do things. Stuff. Cool. Reviews. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Today we're doing a movie review. Oh yeah, you already did that. I already did it. Uh, and the end. Take two. Go kill the squirrel. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, the fan. It's hot in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're doing a movie review yeah. of the uh, new uh, Telugu film. Uh, uh, we were watching KG three again. Oh, Cinema Bundy, uh, the uh, film that's directed by. Say his name for me, please. Uh, Praveen Kendragula. Uh, Kendragula. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing. Produced that. by DK and Raj of uh, right. Family, Family Man, Family Man. Uh, and then starring Which you picked up on during the trailer. Yeah. And then starring uh, a whole bunch of, I think, locals, mostly. I, 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 it's got that whole... Um, There's a few that I think have done a few things, but most yeah. of these people, besides one, right. do not have a picture. So, and... and, and like, Are they all from the same... Because it felt like they really did the thing. In a village. Like, they made a movie in a about a vil village. Yeah, that it was in a village. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you haven't watched it, it's 90 minutes. About around 90 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and... I don't know about you, but it felt kind of like 45. Yeah. It, it, it's a quick... It's a quick, and it's a... I don't know about what you thought of it. I thought it was a very fun, enjoyable film. Yeah, so we'll do our best. We'll yeah. do, at the beginning, no spoilers. Go watch it. And then come back to be spoiled. Yeah. So um, we'll try to do a little bit of non-spoiler here. Yeah. Uh, there's not a whole bunch of spoil, honestly. It's a very simple story. The trailer... The, if you see the trailer... You know what the film is. That's what the film's about. It's a very simple... No, what uh, it doesn't give away, obviously, is it shouldn't. It doesn't give away that everyone the died. climax and the conclusion, which is death for all. <laughs> By the hand of, you guessed it, Thor. Jeff Bezos. Oh. <laughs> as Thor. <laughs> it, was a, it was a crazy twist ending. Crazy it? twist ending. There's <laughs> Bezos with the hammer, swinging it around. At... Okay. So my initial thoughts... What do you think about it? My initial thoughts are mostly letters... Because that's what initials are yes. consistent. Yes, of course. And it, it is um, a, an adorable movie with heart that's very whimsical and funny. Yeah. Uh, gets kind of serious and does leave you with this message of... Uh, it, it does have a heart at the yeah, end of it. And I, I felt like this is the kind of movie that the world needs right now. Mm -hmm. It is a movie where you can just watch something and laugh and be moved a little bit and really be encouraged by this this points out the better nature of humans yeah right absolutely and yeah you, you don't often I, I i i really enjoyed this one there's a few few things that i that I'll, I'll i'll mention later yep um but it's overall you don't get a film like this often anymore no a very simple story yep that doesn't really have the normal arcs of a, of a film like it here comes the bad guy. Right. Here comes the this big old plot twist. I love speaking of the bad guy. Yeah. I love that they didn't go in the direction that I was predicting it would go with the bad guy. Yeah. That the, the guy, the brother, the brotherish yeah. kind of guy who gets who who she puts in his place at one yeah. point. I agree with you. That yeah. It's not stereotypical. And so you don't get the, and then it kind of just ends and everyone. Sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to give away thing. We will. We will when we hit spoiler. Uh, okay, so non-spoiler. Yeah, yeah. Non-spoilers is basically 
a very enjoyable film yeah. that I think, I, I don't think you can come out of this not enjoying it. it yeah. It's just, it, you, you'll feel good when you come out of the theater. Yep. And it's it's a relatable story, especially if you love cinema and you kind of, when, when I was younger, I did this exact thing with my friends. Mm -hmm. I got a camera, we went into the woods and we tried to make films. And most filmmakers, most directors mm -hmm. have that as part of their story. If you hear about Steven Spielberg's story, he did that. Yeah. Ron Howard did that. Tarantino did that. Yeah. Uh, it's I, just what filmmakers do. I feel like it's very common, especially obviously with my generation, because we've had cameras easily accessible, yeah, accessible. to us almost our whole life. Yeah. Uh, not my whole life. <laughs> I grew up in the, I was born in 1991. Until about late 90s to early 2000s, they weren't, I don't think, easily accessible to right. everyone. No. Outside of the big old clunkers. <laughs> Yeah, the kind that Spielberg and Ron Howard were playing with growing up. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's, I think, a very relatable story. I thought all the actors, for the most part, did a very good job, especially since probably most of them aren't experienced actors. And I took that as part of what I was watching. And I remember it from the trailer. This isn't a film that you need to put a hat on to critique it in terms of higher level artistry in that re regard. Just let it be what it feels like. It almost, It almost kind of feels like a... A film crew is capturing these guys doing this stuff with the camera. Yeah. And, it, and it does, it carries some weight to it compared to other places. Because, like, yeah. if you took this story and you did it in America, mm. it wouldn't have the same level of heart that this one has. Yeah. Because this one really does tap into the realities of what these guys would be facing. And, like, especially when he's talking to his wife and he's like, I'm a rickshaw driver. Yeah. This isn't giving away anything yet. We're getting there. And, you know, think about what other options do we have to actually better our life Yeah. at this point. This is, it's not just a, we're going to do this because it's fun. It's a, this has the possibility to hopefully better our life. Yeah. And what, what other options do we have? And that's part of the heart of the film that I love. Yeah. And, um, I, it's very little. I, I laughed out loud multiple times in the film. I, I thought too. there was a, a bunch of funny moments, and it was also very cultural to the. Uh, I, I don't know the state that Telugu. Right. I, I, I know they some. There are Tamil uh, Telugu speakers in Tamil Nadu, right, and and all over South India, but I don't know the specific region. Uh, if there is a specific region uh, that that Telugu people speak mm -hmm. in, um, but. In terms of their favorite film stars that they they were trying to emulate are Mohesh Babu and uh, uh, Prabhas, who is mm -hmm. the I don't know if he, he's the lead in Bahubali. Yes. Uh, and so like you saw all these things of him trying to be the hero of the and it was so funny. It was so endearing. <laughs> it was it was it's people that like as opposed to like if you made it here in America, everybody knows how films work here. Really, right. you have a director. You you know for the most part, like what a camera does, because obviously... Unless, mm -hmm. and that's what I found really endearing about this, unless you work on a student film that's like not AFI, oh. not USC thesis film school stuff. Yeah. Like I just recently worked on one. They re It was a favor to a friends who needed, someone had dropped out and they're like, would you possibly, mm -hmm. right? So it was this, it was this project it was a high school film. <laughs> and it was actually, I encouraged them when we were all said and done, I said, this little thing you did for your project actually turned out better than some short films I've done for New York Film Academy or AFI. Yeah. <laughs> but the frustration you get working on something like that is you're standing there watching them do their thing and you don't want to offer it, but they're coming up with the kinds of things these guys are. And you're like the kid in the story going, guys, you, you wear the same clothes for the same suit, guys. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, the lighting's gotta be the same. You and just... since I'm sure there's gonna be some of you confused, he's talking about what they did in the film. Right, okay, the spoilers. Filmmakers, not the film itself. No, no, no. I know the there's gonna be some people. The filmmakers in the film. <laughs> there's gonna be some people that are very confused. Yes. Because people always get confused by stuff we say. <laughs> so, so I wanted to confirm that. The film does not feel like a student film. So <laughs> take off your diapers and get ready to be spoiled. Yeah. I don't uh, know what that means really, but... Here it comes. Now we're going to talk about everything. Yeah, I thought... One, I want to talk about the score. I thought the score was really nice. It was it was heavily in there a lot of times. Like, a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, there were montage sequences. Yeah. Um, and they put, like, even when people were speaking dialogue. Yeah. That, and sometimes I was like, do I like this? But I think a lot, most of the time it added a really good element 
to it. Yeah. Uh, and it brought the heart, which is what scores can do to Charlotte, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, to, to films. And they, they bring the emotion out of you. That's just what music does. Yeah. Uh, and so I thought the score was really nice. I did too. And I felt, I felt like um, really the film kind of hangs its hat on our lead guy who's the rickshaw driver yeah and i felt that of all of the performances his was the one that not only gave him the most in the script mm -hmm. but i felt like he did a very good job of being kind of the epicenter of the film that yeah. everyone else kind of rotated around i think it's vikas right yeah i think so Is it, he doesn't even have a picture but it looks like he's done at least a few things it, it, it he is a solid Good. Well, he's he also did a the, very good job. He's the straight. I thought he did it really well as well. And the other characters are more character characters, right? Obviously, the the guy that plays the hero, he's a very um, eccentric. He's he gets <laughs> full of himself because he wants to now be the hero of him. the film. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously the camera guy uh, who plays kind of like he he's supposed to know how to take pictures, but he's <laughs> putting everybody in the Titanic yeah. pose, which I thought was hilarious. The Titanic pose was great. I also love when uh, Monk is that her. name? Name? Uh, the wife uh, of the, the hero, the main wife, yeah, the, the one who sold oh, the vegetables, the, the, angry one, yeah. the angry one. When she shows up and she says the name right the very first time, <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> first take. Ah, she's so good. Um, and that's the other part about this is that they're just everybody's so adorable. And when it got to the end, uh, just before the end, when there was a moment where they're all working together, uh, no, it was the very end. Uh, when you're watching the credits roll and they have that final scene, I'm watching all of the characters. I'm like, you know what? You got me. I care about all of you guys. Yeah. I'm watching them at the end and I'm like, I actually genuinely cared about every single one of you guys. And I wanted you guys to succeed. Uh, I, I love that everybody was believable. Nobody was cliche, even though they were being over the top and melodramatic for the, uh -huh. for the movie. Yeah. Uh, and I also liked something that I think, um, I don't know if this would have been an option or a choice, but the people who were visiting, I I liked the fact that they were Indian that were coming through and visiting and that it wasn't somebody like from Europe yeah. or an American coming through that like became, if you've seen this, you're now in the spoiler section, you know how this ends, where basically she kind of saves the day. Yeah. I like that it was an Indian that did that yeah. and not like, it, it could have come across very poorly if it had been, first of all, a bad white actor. But they had come across as like... If it, if it was Hollywood, it would have been a white savior story. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> my point. Exactly. Hollywood loves doing that. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I did like them. I didn't often like their writing, those two. I, those two characters? Those two, the ones that were looking, looking for the, the camera. camera. I thought the, the writing of their dialogue was a little strange to me at times. Like it didn't seem authentic sometimes. But here's the, that's why I don't think it was the acting because the, the other times I was like, oh, they're good actors. I, I enjoyed them. It's just some sometimes I don't know if you picked uh, if you thought about that, but um, sometimes their dialogue seemed a little strange to me. Those two. Yeah. Did you I, not, did you not see that? I noticed there was a difference, and I don't know. It didn't stick out to me mm -hmm. where I could get that specific. Gotcha. There was definitely a difference to it. I, I enjoyed her because she actually, especially at the end, at I thought end. she did a really good job. Yeah. Um, and so that's why I was like, it's probably not her acting. It seems more like the writing of that because I didn't see that that um, style in the rest of the film. Maybe it was because yeah. they were obviously mostly speaking English. Right. And, and the writing and that just seemed a little different to me. So and they, they yeah, also just been me. they also might have wanted to convey mm -hmm. the fact that while they were Indians, they were also very much outsiders. Yeah. And so they wanted to give you, a, if they wanted that, they got it. If they wanted to yeah. give you a definite... A feel change between them and the group, you definitely got that. Yeah, I thought the writing was really, really good because they won. Like you said, they made you care. Yeah, and also they surprised you a bunch of times. Like when he dropped it, my <laughs> me and my wife were like, oh! <laughs> "Not I the love, camera, not the whole thing." And I love two things about the drop. Yeah. I, when the drop came, that shocked me. I'm like, oh no, they broke the camera. And I love that we have no picture on the on yeah. the actual TV screen you're watching it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're talking, but that they dropped it on Grandpa's head. <laughs> I, I love that. That was a laugh out loud moment for me. In the very end when he's yeah. like, I can't even read. I can't even read. <laughs> That was, that was great. So, yeah, this had multiple <laughs> hilarious moments that I, I, I laughed out loud. Like, obviously, when they were trying to cast people, and then, like, somebody came up and was like, if you wouldn't try to look like you were trying to molest her, she would... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so stuck right there outside the girls' school. Yeah. Uh, you want to be the heroine? You want to be the heroine? Yeah. Uh, and so, like, it's uh, the writer of this is, uh, let's see, uh, I don't know if you want to shout them out. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Vasanth. Uh, Marangati, it does screenplay, and then another collaborator, oh, there's three for screenplay. Praveen Kandragula. Who's the director. And Krishna Prathayushra. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought the writing was one of the strongest things about this. And like I said, you don't get these types of films that literally just ends and everyone's happy. Right. And it says, everyone is a filmmaker. I think it said kind of right after, right? Something along those lines, yeah. So there... Everybody's a, a something like I think that. I have, like, everyone's a filmmaker, kind of, uh, or yeah. kind of. Or sorry, I forget kind of. exactly Me what the too. quote was. Me too. Um, but it's 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 a great message. Mm -hmm. It's you just you don't. It's it's refreshing when you just see a film and the entire time you're just happy. Yep. And you're you're not really like worry and obviously everything artistic wise like acting and and writing is all good mm -hmm. uh, because obviously that could derail. You could have a happy film that like like. It could have uh, a bunch of Shah Rukh Khan's from DDLJ right. <laughs> walking around. Um, once again, if you've seen that review, you know what I think about. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I have to preface everything. Right. <laughs> Qualify it. Yeah. But um, the fact that it's, you just, you walk away, it just ends when everyone was happy. And I, it actually was, the ending, you don't get that. You don't. And I actually didn't see that coming. I, I was shocked that basically the, the, climax of their problem because that's good writing this is very the story is very well written where you get the climax and it's typically the situation where your heroes are in a situation that seems insurmountable and you don't know how it's going to be fixed mm -hmm. well typically that happens three quarters of the way through yeah there were 10 minutes left and i thought uh what are you gonna do yeah how are you gonna end this you've only got 10 minutes to wrap this kid up and yeah. you have just Given us the insurmountable odds part. It's very, very quick. It's very it quick. It started fast. Like, it started immediately. Immediately. Like, I found a camera. Right. Immediately, he gets I want to make a movie. Here's my, got a camera. What are we going to do with it? It's like, oh, here you are. Great writing, because it didn't need to be. This could have been one of the movies that we watch, like, and we say, they could have like clipped 45 minutes off of it. Yeah. They did. Yeah. <laughs> to have a it's the right runtime. Like this, that's an independent film. Uh... I thought it did so, so well. It's probably one of my, I'd have to look. I know we've had uh, quite a few good Telugu films that we've seen, but I would put it up there with one of my favorites just because I yeah. could watch this a bunch. A bunch of times. Uh, and it's a great recommendation. Uh, first of all, it does bespeak to the love that people have for making movies because this wasn't just about we can make money. Yeah. And I love they did play into that a few times. There was a subtle message in there mm -hmm. about why you make movies. Yeah. Because there is the temptation to, are you going to make the film because you just want to make a film? Or are you doing it because, like his fantasy, the guy screaming, we're going to make billions, we're going to make billions. Yeah. Uh, so Yeah, which obviously we've talked about before how a bunch of Indians do care about just what the box office is, even though they're right. not involved in the box office whatsoever, right. as opposed to thinking, everyone should see this film, it's such a great film, it's going to make billions. Right. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really see anybody yelling that about Avengers, no. uh, even though you know it's gonna make it. Yeah. But no one's like, oh yeah, it made a billion dollars. We don't no, care if Disney makes more money. <laughs> not at all. I mean, that's evident by when you see the, the movies that get nominated for Globes and Oscars and SAG Awards, a lot of them, barely had any kind of box office at all because yeah. it's not about that yeah so we like ega obviously we loved but this is artistically way better way better but obviously ega is so fun <laughs> it's just a fun romp uh Syra, oh that was a fun one we enjoyed that one yeah obviously bahubali no uh <laughs> in case you didn't know that uh care dash of that was a good one yeah, i remember we, 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 liked we liked that, that one. artistically it was very similar in terms of and rajasthanalism like the style of it yeah of, to this one yeah uh except this one was way funnier <laughs> Yeah, that, that one wasn't really trying to be. And then the old school classic was just a great one. Yeah, it, uh, it was. That, that but this would be one of my one of my favorite ones. And it did remind me, it wasn't as serious or artistically independent feature as like uh, the two I always leave out in our. And when we talk about the Assam list, I always leave these oh, two. Oh, Village Rockstars. Yeah, Billet, yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Where she particularly used family and friends at a, in a village, and those had more poignant profound messages to them yeah. that bode well on the international yeah. film circuit. But this one, I feel like it had the exact same heart, it just doesn't fall into that niche, which is 
absolutely no. fine. It doesn't need to. I actually to. like that it falls into a different Me niche. Me too. Because like I said, that's one of my favorite. You don't get a film like this often. It's almost like in English Vinglish. You just felt so happy in English Vinglish, and it ended happy, and you just love that. Yep. You don't... That's, it, why, that's why I said at the outside, this is, right now, this is a movie that... For a number of reasons. First, the lightheartedness yeah. of it. You forget about all the serious crap going on in the world right now. Yeah. And you get to escape for 90 minutes. Uh -huh. And then it also, like I said at the beginning, it, it reminds you of, in many respects, the better qualities of people, mm -hmm. not the negative qualities, and, and leaves you with, you know, we'll always be together. Yeah, it's got priest. that kind of an ending yeah, to it. absolutely. You know, in the end, in the end, everything's gonna be okay. He won't lose his rickshaw because they found the camera. It doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> but let us know what you thought about this film. Uh, what should be the next Telugu film we watch? And uh, uh, have you watched Family Man season two? Because it is upon you. <laughs>